I get it now. I get it. How could you be so ungrateful and so insecure? that you forget the truth. You get so ungrateful and so insecure of yourself. You stop messing with yourself. You stop hanging out with yourself. You're not cool with yourself so much that you're so ungrateful that you've forgotten the truth. Has that ever happened? All right. That's happened to me. That really happened. I'm grateful for everything my parents have done for me, that's first of all. I'm, I wasn't grateful until now. I was taking everything for granted and not just what my parents do. I was taking everything I had for granted. Took my friends for granted, took certain people in my life and I want everybody to know that I get it now. And that behavior, I'm just gonna simply grow out of, you know. Those things that I'm accustomed to doing. I'm growing now, so I will no longer be doing that. And I see it now. Like nobody on either side of my family has excluded me because of such, such reasons or, you know, being off track or phone calls from the school. And, you know, because as a Christian, you gotta understand that ain't nobody perfect, right? Nobody be perfect. So with that being said, me having, you know, a pastor as my grandfather, out of everyone in the world, he gets that. So now seeing how proud he is of me, you know, It makes my behavior just, just senseless, you know, you know, and I'm just gonna hold myself accountable for it, you know. It, these illusions in my head, you know, and I will try to reach out to everyone as mu much as I can at any time, you know, I'll try to reach out, you know, and we're going to stop taking things for granted. Stop doing the opposite of what I was told not to do. You know? I'm just going to get myself back on track. You know? You know? Because I have to remember the whole self-esteem thing has everything to do with what's going on deep inside, you know? I gotta stop taking things for granted, you know? And look inside and just show that love, you know?
Cause you know, I shouldn't have you know behaved. You know, in such a deviant way. You know, such a disrespectful way. You know, especially when I have so many people that love me. My parents are still providing for me. At as I'm in my mid twenties now. I have so much to be grateful for and I gotta be done with that bratty behavior forever. Now that I know the truth, you know. And Aunt Gloria, I'm very proud of you for holding down the matriarch of the family. I'm very proud of you. Aunt Pat, I'll reach out to you soon. But I see now that my attitude was, you know, you know, it, you know, it made so many people say, I can't do it. And I forced myself around too many people you know, where it kind of got into legal trouble and whatnot. But now I'm really working towards doing better and trying to, you know, get ahead. So. I was just angry for no reason, you know, since, you know, grandma and papa actually were proud of me. There was no reason for me to get off track at 16 and start doing stuff that I was told not to do and carry myself in such a negative light. Now, I get it. All these things I've been saying about grandma and papa being proud of everybody else but me, that is a lie. You know? I know now they are in heaven rooting me on as I get it together, I still have a roof over my head. I still have clothes on my back. I still got food. I'm working on getting it together. So it's gonna be hard to um, make these calls, you know, cause I'm busy making these moves as I'm working on getting a job. And also John Casablanca still wants me to attend their classes, you know? I want to say, despite everything, you know, I want to let all, all my Justice League of adoptive grandparents, <laughs> I want to let them know that I appreciate all of you. Y'all know who you are. And... I don't really want that Disney kind of lifestyle. Everyone has proud grandparents. Mine, all my blood grandparents are my favorite angels and I'm thankful for all of them. And their gorgeous white hair. There's no way that 
the Philadelphia Eagles can't beat Dallas Cowboys tomorrow. We're going to beat them. We're definitely going to beat Dallas. We are not. And if we and if we can't for some reason, we're not going to go out with like a 40 point deficit. They're not going to beat us like 40 points or something dumb like that. We're not like that. I don't remember ever losing 40 something points at the Philadelphia Eagles, you know. That probably was before I was born, probably. Or I just don't remember Philly ever losing 40 something points, at least not during my time. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I just... I just remember all the time that I've been a Philadelphia Eagles fan all my life that they've been doing literally the best that they could. And now they're getting better and better. Every year I see improvement in the Philadelphia Eagles. And I'm thankful for that. Like I was saying, I have the same kind of lifestyle that I've always wanted. It may not be Disney like like a fantasy or like magic, because I don't believe in magic. It's more Fox comical, you know, in association with DC Comics, you know, more Looney Tunes. More like a box in association with Warner Brothers, kind of comedic kind of life. I really do get around, and I'm really grateful for everything I, everything I get, especially as an autistic person. It means a lot. But that's it. I, I get it now. I get it. I know Grandma and Papa are watching me. And they're rooting me on as I get it together. They're they're cheering me on. And now that they're in heaven, they're Philadelphia Eagle fans. So as they root for me and they're proud of me no matter what, you know. I just gotta grow up and let go of that ugly. But they're proud of me. And they're Philadelphia Eagle fans now. So. That's all I gotta say. But, um. Tomorrow. We're gonna beat Philadelphia. I mean, um. We are Philadelphia. We're gonna beat Dallas. I don't know how much we're gonna beat Dallas. But the Cowboy fans know they're going to lose. You take that to the bank. Good night, Cowboy fans. Go Eagles.